Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We will get started in just a minute or so. Um, we're going to allow some time for everyone to be able to join. Okay, it looks like we are at the top of the hour, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really excited to see how many people are in the audience today, and we appreciate everyone being here. Today, we're going to take a look at our latest exciting integration with Samba Safety. That's going to allow you to incorporate your Samba Safety driver monitoring activity into 10 Street's DQF Safety Management. I want to welcome everyone to the webinar, and I want to introduce you to Rich Lacey, Executive Vice President of Product Management for Samba, as well as myself, Elizabeth Sontag. I am the Director of Product here at 10th Street. Please know that this webinar will be recorded and will be sent to you afterwards, so if you get any interruptions for any reason, no worries. You can expect to receive today's recording probably within about 24 hours. Also, you can submit any questions that you have any time through the presentation. You can do that by using the text box under questions in your GoToWebinar panel. We'll try to get to those questions as they're being asked, but if for some reason we're not able to get to them all by the end of the webinar, we will get right back with you and we will address any questions that you have. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to hand everything over to Rich so he can start us off today for our webinar. Great, thank you very much, Elizabeth. Um, thank you for everybody who's joining us today and for 10, and thank you to 10 Street for the uh, invitation to uh, share with you this, uh, this integration that we've put together. Um, so before we get started, probably a little bit about Samba Safety and who we are, in case you don't know, I'll be brief. Uh, this is actually our 20th anniversary as a company. So Samba Safety has been around for a little while and we've actually pioneered this concept of driver monitoring. Um, we're privileged to have 14,000 customers across the country, and we, all, and we monitor almost 3 million drivers on a daily basis um, for our customers. So um, we take this very seriously um, in monitoring drivers, both violations and license status on the MVR and CSA roadside inspections. Are, uh, are what we do and what we're all about. So, uh, but we, we look at driver monitoring uh, through a bigger, broader lens than just monitoring drivers. And we call it driver risk management. It's really the process of identifying, analyzing, and ultimately modifying driver behavior that leads to preventable accidental losses, um, that keeps drivers on the road and keeps those roads safe. So why would you want to monitor drivers? And why is it important that you're looking at the driver behavior on more than an annual basis? And you probably get this, so I'll be brief. But when we look at our customer base and when we talk to our customers and when we talk to the insurance industry, we see that the costs associated with drivers, and those costs are driven both from a risk standpoint and a compliance standpoint, uh, are made up of a number of different things. You have legal fees, days lost, out of service orders, insurance repairs. Um, and we also know that in the unfortunate scenario, when bad things happen, there are these punitive damages that can rear their ugly head, which are often 10 times the costs we're talking about uh, below. And those costs are typically not covered by your, uh, your insurance. And then there's this other hard to quantify yet very real um, cost to your reputation that um, you, you really don't want to deal with. So when we look at the drivers um, and their proportionate um, representation of these costs, about 50% of drivers in our customer, in any given customer, and this is looking across all of those, uh, those monitoring customers, about 50% of them are good drivers, they have clean records, nothing to be worried about. And as you would expect, those are only responsible for about 20% of the costs. 
There's this group of drivers in the middle. It's about 40% of the driving population that are responsible for about 40% of the costs. And these drivers are characterized by maybe having a few violations. They have a valid license. Maybe they've had a few roadside inspections and a few roadside inspection violations. Uh, but that's, that's pretty common. If you drive for a living, uh, that's bound to happen. Uh, the opportunity with this group of drivers is to uh, manage them, mentor them, improve them so they don't fall into this 10% bucket, this red bucket of drivers. And these are drivers that quite frankly shouldn't be behind the wheel. And it could be for various reasons. It could be for a DUI. It could be because of administrative suspension on a license having nothing to do with their driving record or their safety as a driver, but they don't have a valid driver's license. And in a roadside inspection, they would probably get pulled out of the cab and you would have an out of service order. So that 10% of your drivers is responsible for 40% of your overall costs. So at the end of the day, what monitoring helps you do is manage by exception. Take the good drivers and set them aside. Take those drivers that are in the middle and intervene, work with them, make them aware so that they stay in that yellow area and they don't move to the red area. And then take, uh, take action on the red drivers. Clear up those administrative suspensions, have conversations about the driving record, or take, uh, take other action. So in, in summary, when we think about driver risk management in these three categories of identify, analyze, and modify, first identify is making sure you have qualified drivers. Pulling the motor vehicle record at pre-hire and at least annually as mandated by the DOT. Um, and interpreting those records in a uniform way. So as you know, there are 50 states, there are 50 types of NVRs. They all look different, they're all formatted differently. So at Samba, we normalize and standardize those records and give them to you so you, you're looking at a common record format across all 50 states. And then we score the driver. So we help you interpret that MVR so you know if that MVR or if that driver is green in the yellow category or in the red category. And that takes the administrative overhead of interpreting these records, um, takes care of that. It, it addresses unconscious bias and administrative, uh, I said administrative overhead, takes, all, takes care of that so you're, you're evaluating drivers in a uniform way. And really where Samba can help you move the needle is in this analyze section. So by continuously monitoring a driver's record from multiple data sources, not just the MVR, um, looking for violations, new violations, looking for actions, looking for changes in license status, but also monitoring on a daily basis, the roadside inspection uh, violations and crashes, you have a holistic view of your driver and their compliance up to date without having to buy unnecessary data and MVRs that you don't need. So um, staying on top of changes, having data when you need it. And when you've done that, you have an opportunity to do some pretty powerful things. First and foremost, you can now automate the enforcement of your policy. I suspect most of you have a driver policy where you set the thresholds of what's acceptable and what's not. And enforcing that driver policy, I often hear from customers, is a manual process. It's hard to do and it's hard to do consistently. Well, we can help you automatically enforce that policy. Again, putting drivers that are outside of your policy in the red category and dealing with it accordingly. And then two things helping you benchmark yourself against the industry, understanding how you're doing and how things are trending, and also helping you prepare for changes in upcoming regulation, primarily around the IRT model that the FMCSA will be rolling out over the next couple of years that was mandated a couple of years ago in the FAST Act. So Samba is the only vendor in the market today that's helping customers get ready for that pretty significant change um, in the world of CSA. So again, at the end of the day, this is really what Samba helps you do. Helps you move from running a motor vehicle record once a, once a year 
and hoping nothing changes in the next 12 months to more proactively monitoring the driver for changes, allowing you to be more proactive in how you manage both your costs and your risk. So with that, I'll hand it back over to Elizabeth to show you how Samba and 10th Street have come together. Yes, I'm excited to show you how Samba and 10th Street work within the dashboard. So what we're gonna talk about a little bit is how the integration works for you. So the integration will work where it will actually sync your roster. So what will happen is that when your drivers are in a hired status or the appropriate status for that, that's going to automatically sync over and it's going to um, get your drivers all together so that you can have one roster in one place. With that being said, you also have the ability to have MBRs delivered directly into 10th Street. So when you have a driver that's being monitored, that MBR is going to come directly into 10th Street. You're gonna be able to get alerts and it's gonna tell you when any activity has returned. All of that is being done through the safety management tool. So you can go to your tools and click on safety management and you're gonna have a couple of options within safety management to manage your roster. The integration is very, very easy. Um, to set it up, you'll be given your credentials from Samba and you would pass that along to your account manager here at 10th Street. And then we'll get you all set up so that you're able to um, monitor your drivers. So within safety management, what's important to know is that you don't have to have the whole safety management package. You can have just the MVR part of it for the monitoring. Um, you can go to your manage drivers and within that, you can see all of your roster. So you can see all of your drivers that are being monitored, and you'll see that all of those are in a hired status. In the very beginning of the integration, you also have the ability to compare your roster. So you can see what's the difference. If you are already set up with Samba and you need to compare your roster, you can click on it and it will show you all of your drivers. And here it shows you all of the drivers that are available, and you can send those over to Samba. And that is just a little bit of setup in the very beginning of the process um, to make sure that your rosters are all synced together and then the automation takes it from there. Also within here, you've got some tools and you can go to your MVR alert. And what this will do is it will show you all of your MVRs that have returned. You can see here, I've got an MVR for Kindle and I'm able to open it up in a PDF and I can review that MVR. Also, if I click on Kindle, it'll take me directly to the subject view and then I can see that MDR there as well. To keep your list clear, you can check the box and what that will do is once I refresh that, it will take it away and let you know that you're all caught up on your MBRs that have returned back. So you'll have a working list of all of those MBRs that need to be reviewed manually. So the integration is very, very easy. The setup is very simple. After you get your credentials, you'll be able to monitor those and those alerts will come through the system for you to be able to review any MVRs with any activity. On top of that, what's coming soon is the ability to be able to order individual MVRs through Samba. So if you wanted to go in and you wanted to order an MVR for a driver, that is our next step and that is in the process of being done now so that you can order MVRs as well through Samba. Okay, so we have a really simple integration that's set up and a really easy way to manage it. Um, we worked hard together to make this process easy for everyone um, in, a, in a quick and easy way to view any activity in the system. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over and we're going to look to see if there are any questions from you guys um, and we'll kind of work through those. Again, if we aren't able to get to all of your questions today, we're going to keep this webinar pretty short. I know it's late on a Friday afternoon. Um, but we want to kind of work through all the questions that we can. Awesome. I'm looking at all of the questions that are coming in. Two things. I'm going to first, I'm sending through the chat message to everyone a landing page. It's sambasafety.com slash 10 street. If you have questions for the Samba team, if you don't have access to this to our system yet, um, feel free to contact us there. If you need to reach out to the 10 Street team, I'll let them explain how to access them. But our link is in the chat and should have gone to everyone just now. Um, and I will also, I'm gonna go ahead and read some questions. It looks like we have a few coming in. So question number one, is your company a compliance company like DISA? 
So I assume that's a question for Samba. Uh, the answer is no, we're not. We're a, uh, we're a software and a technology company. We provide the driver monitoring service. We do work with compliance companies who, uh, who leverage our service as well. Um, but our, you know, our focus is providing solutions for customers around driver monitoring. Will Samba require us to use a Samba specific release added to our Intella app releases section? Yeah, so, so Samba will not require um, separate release language. Um, you know, as a as a as a company, if if you're um, you're satisfied with the release language and that release language uh, provides you with the ability of pulling motor vehicle records on an ongoing basis, that's sufficient to monitor your drivers. Can the MVR alert? Sent, be sent to an email or a notification to a specific set of users? Yeah, so I think that is a question on our side, and it can be. So you can set up notifications within the system and manage those, where they can be sent to um, a user as a notification or as an email. Either way, you can select which way you would like to set those up. Two fairly similar questions. Um, if we how do we set it up if we already have Samba Safety? And another question, we have multiple sites on Samba Safety. How do we set up the different login? Yeah, so two good questions, subtly different, but with the same answer. Um, if you're an existing Samba Safety customer, reach out to your account manager, or if you don't know who your account manager is, go to that URL that Emily posted, sambasafety.com slash 10 street. We'll get you in touch with the right person. Um, and we can get you set up with the integration. And the question about the multiple accounts, we can also take a look at your specific account configuration and make some recommendations on the best way to uh, get integrated with 10 Street. And then just to add to that, once you get set up with Samba, if you'll just pass that information along to your account manager after you've been set up on the 10 Street side, we will work to get your accounts set up within the 10 Street system. Do you have to subscribe to 10 Street DQF module in order to use this integration? You do not. Um, you can use the MVR monitoring as, um, as a standalone, um, and there is no additional charge for um, the MVR monitoring on the um, to be able to, to use that within 10 Street. What if we are already paying for higher rights to do our background checks? Would we just run the MVR part through Samba and it would push to 10th Street instead of running through 10th Street that pulls from Higher Right and then uploads to our 10th Street portal? Maybe talk generally about Higher Right and 10th Street and Samba safety. Okay, so this would require, this integration is a 10th Street Samba integration. So if you already use Higher Right today for your MVRs, you can continue to do that and they'll pass through 10th Street as they do. Um, but if you're using the monitoring, through Samba, you can still set up the monitoring portion of it and you'll be able to use the account specifically through the monitoring service. When will we be able to order our initial NVRs from Samba Safety? That is coming soon. Um, we hope to have that up and running within the next couple of weeks. I think I'm at the bottom of all of the questions that have come in so far. We can give it a couple minutes, I think, and see if anyone else has more questions. Of course. And, and if you have questions um, that you're not able to submit through the webinar, you can always reach out to either side, and we're happy to review and answer any questions that we can for you guys. Um, and if you have anything specific to either or of us, then just let us know, and we will help you through that. Looks like we've made our way through questions. Thanks, everyone. Okay. All right, we really appreciate your time today. We know it is late on a Friday. I hope that everyone has a great weekend. And again, any questions at all, or if we weren't able to get to your questions, if you're submitting them at the last minute, we will reach out to you and we'll follow up with you for any help with that. Um, thank you for joining us. We're excited about this integration and we look forward to seeing you guys soon.